Natty Buck. First one to check in on Instagram. Friday morning class, folks. We're going to get after the theme of today is let's get pumped. We're going to just straight up, yeah, we're going to bust loose. Brent Beachley in the house. Orlando in the house. The pride of Missouri. Go get bucks. Hey, uh, if you check in with your nickname and what you had for breakfast, you might get a song sung just for you. Natty Buck? Natty Buck. She's awesome. Natty Buck. She'll win an Oscar one day. Chuck Whetstone in the house. Ram Chargers in the house. Unicorns in the house. You rock, Chuck Whetstone. Natty B had an English muffin, folks. We've got an English muffin in Missouri. I had a banana and some coffee. That's what I have every morning. What did you have? Ram charger. Natty Beatty, uh, are, the, are the boys gonna partake today in class? The little guys, they can do push-ups, right? <laughs> squats, body squats for the boys. Great band, by the way. Body Squats for the Boys. Love that band. Who else is checking in on a Friday morning? Orlando had a granola bar. Orlando lives in California. She loves granola. Orlando, she comes to my sad lot. Who else is in the house? L.A. Max is in the house. Do you live in L.A., L.A. Max? L.A. Max, I wonder if he lives in L.A. Chuck Whetstone lives in Oklahoma. Class is going to start in two minutes. Get yourself ready to go with some marches. Who's marching? All right, L.A. Max. The Tasty of Life is back in the house. Judge Jr. in the house in Florida. Start marching. Welcome in. My coach, Justin, is here. Make sure you check in with where you live, what you had for breakfast and where you live. Ram Charger had Cheerios. He probably had it with milk and a spoon. Cheerios in a bowl. Don't forget to wash that bowl after you're done eating your Cheerios. Ray Ray in the house. What'd you have for breakfast, Ray Ray? The Dominator in the house. Dominator from Costa Mesa. And we got Ray Ray and Cheerios. Ray Ray, is that upstate California or upstate New York? MZ in the house, Friday morning. Mookie Betts and Bulldog are here. Mookie Betts and Bulldog. Mookie Betts and Bulldog. Mookie Betts and Bulldog. They're here. Kid Yo-Yo's in the house from PB. Kid Yo-Yo. Kid Yo-Yo. Kid Yo-Yo. He's awesome. Kid Yo-Yo. Kid Yo-Yo. Kid Yo-Yo. And he's epic. Tampa, Florida. Yogurt and banana bread. What about you? Blueberry muffins there from Mookie Betts and the boys. I love it. We're going to give everybody 30 more seconds to check in. 
for my uh, for my promptly at 9 a.m. Pacific uh, arrivals, you get a song. My mom and dad are watching today from North Carolina. And so is Puppy Pro and Fireball. Puppy Pro at strawberries and some scrambled eggs. Don't forget that green juice. Encyclopedia and Bike Rider. They haven't had breakfast yet. Good morning, Sarah Dean in the house. Welcome. We're going to get cranking. Start marching as I put my guitar away. Start marching. Knees up in the air. Feel like you're running at an incredible rate, Harry. Yes. Yes, indeed. Start going right here with the arms. Pumping the arms. Pumping the knees. Oh, wow. Immediately, the endorphins are pumping into the old scalp. Starting to feel a little better just by activating my kneecaps. Green Monster and Mr. Angel, they have bagels. They're ready to go. We're just going to march for a good 30 more seconds. The uh, theme of our day, let's lift. Let's pump. We're going to get buff. I'm here to pump. You up. Any others? Yankee had strudel. Man, do I love strudel. Fantastic. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, three claps. One, two, three. Arm circles. And turn that into swim. Swim maneuvers. Simple. You can do this if you're one, two, or 102. Swim. That's it. It works a lot better if your shirt's tucked in. Just like that. Now both arms. The butterfly stroke. Butterfly wings. Now backstroke. Get it going. Engage the trapezius. The trapezius is my second favorite word. Who can type in on the comment section what's my first favorite word? My favorite word. I say it every day. Who's got it? You get a scholar salute if you get it. Three claps. One, two, three. All right. Let's touch our toes without picking our nose. Slowly go down. Slowly come up. I've got that right. Phalange, you get a scholar salute. And an attaboy. One, two, three. Attaboy, water slide. What do your armpits smell like? Mine smells like Big Bird. That's it. Spread out wide. Sniff your left kneecap. Let me know what your left knee smells like. Oh, yes. My left knee smells like pure determination. And a little bit of spinach. Switch. Let me know what your right kneecap smells like. Type it into the comment section. You might get a shout out. My right knee smells like Canada, side to side. Usually it smells like spaghetti and meatballs, but not today. Side to side. Time to pick some strawberries. On your marks, get set, go. One, two, three, clap. 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 Slap on your bee honkus butterflies, my friends. On to the bee honkus. In case you're just joining us, it's Friday. You're welcome. Kind of hard to figure out what day it is these days in the times of quarantine. Uh, anybody got any good ideas how to keep track of the day? Let me know. I love your feedback. Spread them out wide. Touch your left. Phalange. My favorite word. Rolls off the tongue like yogurt. Phalange. Try to get your chest all the way down to your quadricep. Oh, my lanta. Switch. Touch your right phalange. Friday morning. 
Oh my, both phalanges. I was reading about Tommy Lasorda last night. Tommy Lasorda, his first job was not a baseball player or a manager for the Dodgers. He carried 70 pound sacks of potatoes in Norristown, Pennsylvania. That was his first job. He'd come home tired at the age of 16 and his mom would make him spaghetti. That's it, modeling pose, left leg out, right foot across. What books have you been reading, kids? A lot of time on our hands. Type in the comment section what books you've been reading. Oh, and hug that knee into the chest. I have been eating a lot of Cocoa Puffs cereal, but I'm balancing it out with a lot of milk. A little bit of both. Switch. If your back pops, say, oh, my Atlanta. Oh, we're really doing it, Harry. And hug that knee into the chest. That's it. In case you're just joining us, we've got ourselves a, a contest. The broadcasters out there. It's the Joe Buck contest. You send me a video of you broadcasting a real-life situation. I send it to Joe Buck, and he announces the winner. If you've never heard of Joe Buck, wake up. He's the national voice of football and baseball, and he's got a brand new podcast for all you parents out there that like to laugh. Downward facing dog. And upward facing dog. Arch that back and bark like a dog. Arf. Arf. Ruff. Ruff. Keep going. Keep barking. Ruff. Arf. Yeah, explore the space. And half moon. We're going to get pumped today, folks, and we're going to explore the space. We're going to be artists and athletes. My favorite thing to do is marry art and athletics. I like to smush them together. Switch, half moon. And on to the elbows and the knees, donkey kicks. Act like a donkey. Five with the right and now five with the left. Make your best donkey sound. I love donkeys. Very nice. Now, act like a kitty cat. Lick the paws. Put them up here. Roll on your back. Scratch your back with the floor. And quickly come up. Good posture. Check your surroundings. Now play with an imaginary ball of yarn. But the opposable thumbs are not intact, so you can't. Hold on to it for very long. It just falls. Now you're a mongoose. Hop around quickly on your toes like a mongoose. Fantastic. Now you're an orangutan. Explore the space. And three claps. One, two, three. Arm circles. Start small, get bigger. Backwards. Start small, get bigger. Hug yourself, move the neck around. I hope you're ready to pump some iron today. I'm gonna challenge you. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of push-ups. We're gonna do a lot of sit-ups. Switch. Let's see if you can do it. I know you can. All right, jumping jacks, ready exercise. Oh, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, an eight, and nine. And 10, push up position. Back straight and chest to the ground. Up, chest to the ground. Up, do it with me. Up, simultaneously. Up and up. Very good. Now to your back. And you're going to touch the ground with your hands. And then you're going to come up and touch your toes. Back to the ground. Back to the toes. Three. Do it with me. Four. Engage the core. Five. Boom. Back to the push-up position. Oh, yes. Ready, folks? 
down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, before we do these sit-ups, I want you to have a little talk with yourself. Self, this is difficult, and I don't want to do it, but it's making me more awesome at life. Back to the action. Sit-up position, up to the toes. One. That's what we want to do here on Earth. We want to get more awesome at life every single day. And five. That's why we tuck our shirts in. It makes us more awesome at life. Push-up position. We're getting pumped today. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down and up. Speaking of donkeys, guess who's got two pet donkeys uh, in their house? Arnold Schwarzenegger. True story. Sit up position. Touch the ground. Touch your toes. And two. And three. And four. And five. Very good. At my first acting class at Brown University, we did the wolf exercise. Act like a wolf for 20 seconds. Five more seconds. You're a sly wolf. And stop. Very good. Three claps. One, two, three. Two-minute jog. Um, something I, I recommend is that you get a sip of water before the two-minute jog starts. Harry Potter in the house. Wow. On your marks. Get set. Two-minute jog. Forty seconds down, eighty to go. Diane's in the house on Instagram. Who else is watching on the Instagram live? We've got a good number this morning. Keep running. Let me know where you're running, folks. Are you inside? Are you outdoors? Up the stairs. It's two minutes. Yeah. Thirty seconds remaining. Frank Stokes in the house. Yogurt and granola for Super Henry. Two minute jog. Twenty seconds to go. Start bringing it back towards the TV screen, folks. Five, four, three, two, and stop. Very good. Get your waters. Water break. Water break. Team meeting pose. <sighs> Trivia question as we're drinking our water. What are some key ingredients to an epic team meeting pose? By the way, William ran and skipped down the hall with major enthusiasm and is catching his breath. Mustache salute. Way to go, water slide. As we're drinking our water and catching our breath, who knows some key ingredients? 
Kneel. That's right, L.A. Max. You kneel on a on a knee, one knee down. But you're not going to sit real low. Imagine there's a beehive on your shoe, and you don't want to get stung by that beehive, so you got to get the bee honkus far away from the foot. Any other key ingredients? That's right, Judge Junior. Pretend you have hippopotamus poop on your foot. That's right, water slide. You also want to have your shoulders back, uncomfortable eye contact. That's right. Very good. Asher, uh, you got that right with the uncomfortable eye contact. Now, you need to set up your bases, folks. You've gotten your water. You've caught your breath. So set up your baseball field. Home, first, second, and third. There's home. There's first, second base, and third base. Very good. Let's get it home plate, folks. And let's just start jogging in place. And go to first base. Kangaroo hops. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go to second base. Kangaroo hops. Two, three, four. Five, six, pet the baby Joey in your pouch. Go to third base. Kangaroo hops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And when you get home, jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. So today, for our circuit training, you'll just follow my lead. Try to stay with me on everything. Arms up high, catch your breath. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Do that one more time. And then we've got round two. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. All right, round two. You're at home plate. We go to first base. Push-ups again. One, two. Three, four, five. We get to second base. Push ups again. One, two, three, four, five. Third base. What do you think we're going to do, folks? Five push ups. Three, four, five. And we get to home plate. Yes, 10 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Now we take our 30 seconds. Get a sip of your water. Arms above your head. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Ready for round three? Hang in there. Mind stronger than the body. Round three. We're at home plate, folks. We're ready to go. First base. Polka dance. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's the polka dance? Interlock the fingers. Feet up. Polka dance. That's it. Nine, ten. Third base. Polka dance. Hold plate. Ten jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty seconds. Catch your breath. Breathe in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. That's right, pickle. Penguin, you're in the house. Jax Brantley's in the house. He did quite well last night in the trivia contest. For those of you that participated in our trivia contest yesterday, epic. We'll do that every Thursday. All right, round number four. I get it. It's not easy. Stay with me. We're at home plate. We get the first base. Punch, punch, punch across. Punch, punch, punch across, and 
10. Over to second base, same thing. Use the hips. Use the stomach muscles. Whoosh. Bang. Rocky. Balboa. Third base. Five. Punching bag. And always at home plate. Ten. Jumping. Jacks. Six. Eight, nine, ten. Very good. Here's our 30 second break. How we doing, folks? Do decent in the house at a boy. There we go. Natalie's in the house. Thanks for joining. Water break. I'm sweating. I don't know about you kids. I am definitely sweating. Round five. We're ready, folks. We're at home plate. We get to first base. Favorite dance move. Ten seconds. Whatever dance move is your favorite, do it. Boom. Second base. Same dance move. Favorite dance move. Get it going. Five seconds. Favorite dance move. Yes. Third base. Favorite dance move. Dance the night away. I just want to dance with somebody. All right. And hold play. Jumping jacks. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. 30 second break. What are you guys doing today? Let me know. My neighbor is commenting on uh, YouTube. Dude, decent. Uh, he can hear me from three houses down. That's right. My voice projects all the way around the neighborhood. Mr. Marshmallow in the house. He's loving it. Let's give Mr. Marshmallow a double bicep salute. All right. If you uh, have somebody in the room that you can do a staring contest with, let's go ahead and do that. I'll do a staring contest with whoever's on Instagram here. My coach, Justin. Staring contest. I don't have a boom. I just use the natural. I'm staring you down, my coach, Justin. If you blink, you lose. Let me know who's doing. Oh, I blinked. Very good. Let me know. Who did you do the staring contest with? Stop if you're still going. Back to the action. All right, here we are. We're at home plate. We're gonna to get to first base. And we're gonna dribble an imaginary basketball. Dribble it around your waist, through your legs. Dribble it, dribble it. Now we get to second base and we shoot that imaginary basketball three times. Now we're at third base. Now we're dribbling that ball again. Dribble that imaginary basketball. Yeah, take that quarantine. I can use my imagination. And we've got a home plate. Jump, bing, jacks. Ten of them. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, stay with me. Running in place. No water break here. No water break. And get to first base. You're a batter. Imagine that pitcher lifts their leg and they're about to pitch the ball. And you, boom, home run. You get to second base. Now you're on the opposite side of the plate. That pitcher lifts their leg. They're ready to pitch. Boom! Another home run. Now you're at third base and you're the catcher. You're the catcher. Put down that fastball sign. Uh-oh, somebody's trying to steal second. Throw them out. And back to home. Yeah! Ten jumping jacks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Very good. Get yourself a water break. Squeaky Cheeks is in the house. Love it. Coach T-Run in the house. Love it. Once again, folks, I appreciate your support on Venmo. Those of you who've been throwing five bucks a week are one to three, Monday through Friday. Saturdays, we just do the Saturday morning class. That's the Saturday for the family. 
And then we take Sundays off. Very good. Everybody go eye black salute, mustache salute, beard salute, mullet salute, sportsmanship salute, bounce back salute, scholar salute, bravery salute, leadership, and an atta girl for all the young ladies. One, two, three. Atta girl. And an atta boy for all the fellas. One, two, three. Atta boy. It's time to get your notebooks. Get your notebooks. Get your tennis ball. If this is your first class, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then you can just take it all in and watch. But for my ball players that have been here every day, and for any baseball players that want to use a glove with their tennis ball today, go ahead. Oh, my coach Justin, uh, he just informed me I forgot about the Brad Pitt salute. That's the Brad Pitt salute. I don't know if he's ever done that in a movie, but it uh, makes me think of it. And jumping on ahead uh, with Encyclopedia, high five the sky. He already knows the first drill. So you got your notebook. You got your piece of paper. The date is April 3rd, and we'll go 60 seconds. How many high fives the sky? If you want to use your catcher's mitt or your first base mitt or your glove, do so. But it's a... Uh, up to the sky, meet, squeeze, and freeze. Go. One, two, three, four. No cups of soup. Okay, we want to go high five the sky, meet, squeeze, and freeze. I'll sing the meet, squeeze, and freeze song while you're doing that. Meet it, squeeze it. Meet it, squeeze it. Squeeze it, but don't forget to freeze it. Beat it, squeeze it. Beat it, squeeze it. Beat it, squeeze it, but don't forget to freeze it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 20 seconds remaining. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Fingers to the sky and meet, squeeze, and freeze. The Boomsmas have joined. Come on in, Boom Smuzz. Get your notebooks out. We're doing our catching drills. You need your tennis ball and your glove. Three, two, one, stop. Write that number down. Write it down. And then number two is the wall drill. Toss it against the wall, meet, squeeze, and freeze. You don't want your elbow to sling up like this. You want the elbow down, fingers to the sky. Smiley dog's in the house. Get that glove, get that tennis ball, smiley dog. And if you want to, if you have a wall that you can throw overhand and meet, squeeze, and freeze, do it. On your marks, get set, go. Stay on your toes. Step through the catch. You don't want to get on your heels. You want to be like a mongoose prancing after a cobra. Go get that cobra. Ruff. Ruff. I'm not sure if that's what a mongoose sounds like when they uh, go try to eat a cobra. Boom's my big boom in the house at a boy. 20 seconds remaining. Way to go, Mr. Angel. Way to go, Encyclopedia. 15 seconds remaining on our wall drill. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. Fingers to the sky. Got to be brave. You want to see the ball, touch your glove. Stop. Very good. Write that number down. So far, drill number one, high five the sky. Drill number two, wall drill. Drill number three, alligators. It's the ground ball. You get farther away from the wall, so it rolls back to you. If you want to have a partner and roll it back and forth to each other, do that. But you want to get your glove dirty and smack the alligator mouth. Go! 60 seconds. Don't forget to move the feet. You got to get in front of the ball. You got to charge the slow ones. You got to get your bee honkus low to the ground. I'll sing the dance on a toilet song while you're doing this drill. Dance, dance, everybody dance on a toilet. On a toilet. Yes, I'm a
That's the dance on a toilet song. I wrote that song while I was eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And I thought, hmm, 15 seconds to go. That's what I mean by marrying art and athletics. I like to marry the two. And then if you put some food in there, wow, you've got the full spectrum. It brings everybody together. Food, art, and sports. Stop. Very nice. For any of you moms, dads out there, maybe you're gaining a, a couple of tips on how to coach your kids. Good. Um, I've got an academy, and it's uh, 100 bucks, but you can buy it for the rest of your life. You're a subscriber, and it teaches you every skill you need to know on how to coach Little League Baseball. Um, teach the kids how to catch, how to throw, how to field. Uh, it also teaches you how to engage the kids for a practice. So treat this as the off season. Go get that uh, academy and you're good to go. What's our fourth drill, kiddos? It's the soccer juggler. The soccer juggle. If you don't have a soccer ball, use a balled up sock or a balled up piece of paper. But you're going to go bang, bang, bang. I got three. On your marks, get set. Do you have that soccer ball yet? Go. Soccer juggle. Ah. This is not an easy one. Let's go 30 more seconds. Great job. High score for Mr. Angel has been 18. Welcome on in. Kate, Dylan, Matt, Fierce Dutchie. Add a girl, Fierce Dutchie. Way to go, Orlando. Orlando's getting more points today than she got yesterday, and I love it. a girl. 15 seconds remaining. We're juggling this soccer ball. Five, four, three, two, and stop. That is 60 seconds. Jot that number down. Let me know how you did. Welcome in, G Gold. Drill number five, figure eight. Just like LeBron James is doing right now, he's keeping his basketball skills intact in his backyard doing this drill. On your marks, get set, go. That's right, right, man. Figure eight. Five, six, who can beat me? Ten, do more than me. Go quicker. There you go, Tony. At a boy. Who can do more than me? I'm doing one per second. I'm probably going to get 60 because we got 60 seconds in a minute. Can you do the 60 seconds? Forty seconds down, and my legs are starting to burn. Keep the bee honkus low to the ground. Dance on that toilet. Keep your head up. Stay strong. Hang in there. Five seconds remaining. I did 55. Stop. Write that number down. Way to go. Perfect. Number six, hula hoops. Same ball around your waist. 60 seconds. On your marks. Get set. Go, smiley dog. Hope your shirt's tucked in for this one. Got to have your shirt tucked in to do this one right. Come on now. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. 20 seconds remaining. My Instagram feed went off, so we'll try it again. 10 seconds. And stop. Write that number down. Write it down. And last but not least, you've got your ping pong drill, ping pong paddle, ping pong ball. 
If you don't have one of those, wooden spoon and a balled up piece of paper. Hand-eye coordination. Pickle got 90. Oh, my lanta. That's more than I got. All right, tap it up in the air, folks. On your marks, get set, go. Hand-eye coordination. Great for the quarantine. That's it. And freeze. Throwing a curveball at you. Freeze, everybody. Now, you're going to tap it up into the air, and as soon as the ball hits the ground, you got to do five push-ups. Ready, go. Oh, hit the ground. I got to do five, four, three, two, one push-up. Now I'm back to doing this. Oh, it hit the ground again. Five more push-ups. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Back to it. Oh, it hit the ground again. Another five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. And stop. Awesome job, water break. Welcome in, Jake, Gus, Dylan. Thanks for joining the Coach Ball Game PE class. All right, gang, get your water. We're going to go 30 seconds of our water break, and then we've got two minutes of what a ball player does activity. Sweep the floor. Make your bed. Get yourself ready for school today. Uh, hug your mom and dad, whatever that might be. Two minutes, what a ball player does activity starts now. seconds down let me know what activity you are doing I love this activity it comes very naturally for me that's it that's it Thirty seconds remaining. What activities are going on? There's a living room getting cleaned up. Orlando's doing a great job. As for the uh, spoon toss, bike rider with 122. We've got 176 from bike rider. Love it. Pickle and peanut doing a puzzle with their parents. Ten seconds remaining. Five, four. Three, two, and stop. Very good. Awesome job. Now, you've done your activity. I've got two minutes of running a little faster than you did the first time. And then we're going to have a little story before you guys go eat breakfast or go on with your day. So two minutes, run, go. I'm doing the pacer test back and forth. Wow. Let me give some shout outs here. Dominator set the table for pancakes. Somebody's cleaning dishes. That's Asher. Sleepover in the house did 121 ping pongs. Keep running. All right, run a little faster than you did at the beginning of class. Parents, 
maybe you want to hop in here too. Get the endorphins going. It's a great way to start the day. That's it. Yeah. One minute down, one to go. All right, I'm cutting you. I'm cutting you off 30 seconds early. Stop. Very nice job, folks. So tomorrow is uh, Family Saturday at PE class, and we always tell a little story, and then I do a Q&A uh, after the Saturday class. So families, join in. Dads, jean shorts, and headbands. Um, but we're going to have some family activities planned for tomorrow, including the Sandlot game. And I saw some videos from last week. Moms and dads, sons and daughters were playing a uh, family sandlot game, and it was epic. I love it. By the way, Big Boom made his bed. Air Force Academy style. Mustache salute, leadership salute. So you can sit on your bee honkus. Um, we started this story last Saturday, uh, and we're going to continue with it tomorrow. The Magic Tree House. But the prologue says, one summer day in Fog Creek, Pennsylvania, a mysterious treehouse appeared in the woods. It was filled with books. A boy named Jack and his sister Annie found the treehouse and soon discovered that it was magic. They could go to any time and place in history just by pointing to a picture in one of the books. You imagine you go to a treehouse and you got all these books and you point to a certain picture, and then you get to go to that place, right? Wow. While they, were uh, while they were gone, no time at all passed back in Frog Creek. Jack and Annie eventually found out that the treehouse belonged to Morgan Le Fay, a magical librarian from the legendary realm of Camelot. Since then, they have traveled on many adventures in the magic treehouse and completed many missions for Morgan. Now Jack and Annie are about to find out what their next Magic Treehouse mission will be. And uh, we'll, we'll be reading more of this story, which we started last Saturday. But here's a little homework for you. Um, use your imagination and uh, find a book today. Find a book, point to a picture, and then use your imagination as if you got to go to that place and you got to experience what's going on uh, in that picture and then write about it. Write a story um, uh, about your life in that place. Let's say, for example, it's a Harry Potter book and you point to a picture in Harry Potterville or wherever it is. And then you write a little story about your day in Harry Potterville. Or maybe it's a baseball book like this one where they take a picture and they point to a picture of Ebbets Field where the Dodgers played. And then they got to go see Jackie Robinson play. Pretty cool. All right. So see you tomorrow. Uh, keep spreading the word about class and keep watching my YouTube videos. The more hours we get, the better. Thumbs up. So please binge watch our YouTube and, uh, and go get my academy on my website if you'd like to learn how to coach little leaguers. Any questions, folks? Have a great Friday. Bye-bye.